Welcome back to another episode of the Careful Boys Well, Today we got the hot seat with the hottest question in the world and even hotter seat and the hotter guest, Lawrence Cow, everybody. Lawrence Cow! Alright, so, pretty hot, pretty so hot pretty hot, man. But we like to start cold. Stop, we start cold. Stop. Have we ever done this with you? No, no right? No, no, so everyone sits in this chair? Yeah, yeah. don't shake it around okay, so it okay, looks okay. more high quality. Okay, got it, got it. it looks all yeah, don't, jing don't jiggle it. I want to kill no, don't do that, no, please, no. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So it doesn't look as cool when you jiggle. Right. We like to start it cold. Oh, there's no bar here, And then you know? turn up the heat. We so. like to start with the least interesting stuff and then let the, the interest, save the interesting stuff for later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So people click away in right. the very beginning. That's what we're trying to do, all right? It's about engagement. All right. So they click later. Away. Engagement later. Okay. That's the new YouTube model. Mm -hmm. in, in, in honor of Bart's cold questions, all right, I'm going to try to muster <laughs> up the inner soul away. of Bart. Yeah. All right. What is your favorite kind of office chair? Hmm. It's really good. That's a good Bart. Like that. It's a really good like cold question. Or? Yeah, I don't. I, I mean, I don't really know like specific. You don't know the brand. Chairs. I do like office chairs that um, can like drop really quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have to have like like hydraulics. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so if like if they can come up high, oh, no, like no. how high? Oh, it's like a hydraulic. Is that fast enough? Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How'd you rank that? that pretty Actually, fast. that's pretty. Those are pretty cool. Can Dude. I try? No, just stay in. The, oh, stay in there. there. You gotta stay in the chair. It was a safe answer. Yeah. All right. I don't safe. really know like office chairs that well. Okay, let's get right into it. So you obviously just uh, starred in a movie, This Full of Vengeance. Did I? On Netflix? Yes. Yeah. What did you really think about it? Scale of one to ten. Yeah. Where'd I thought it was fucking awesome. Mike. I really did. So it's you know, like, okay, I, yeah. I really did. Like I watched I watched it and I was like, this is fucking good, but we've been getting a lot of fucking haters. The movie is a fucking party. And there's a bunch of there's fucking all, party poopers. There's always gonna be there's always yeah, gonna be like, haters. What could they be hating on? Yeah, like people take saying? it so ser they take it too seriously. They like they want like depth. They want like <laughs> I'm like, it's just a popcorn flick. It's like an action movie, you know, just action from beginning to end. They're yeah. like, oh, it wasn't like saving private Ryan. They want, they want like I'm like, what the fuck do you want? You know, we're just trying to give you action, we're just trying Bible to keep you entertained. Snipers. But yeah, I, I, I enjoyed the movie, I enjoyed the process and it was Hey, to all the dedicated fans here, uh Help us with the party poopers. Go out there, leave five star ratings, and then while you're at it, make sure you get on Kinder Bang Noodles on Amazon. Do the same thing. Thanks a lot. Oh my god, he snuck in a plug, dude. Look at that. This guy's I haven't done it in a long time. It's been like 80 videos. I haven't done it in a long He's time. He's wearing right? a Kinder shirt. Oh, thank you. He's I always wow. support you. He does always support. Do you have any Kinder's gear? I don't absolutely have absolutely not. Learned all of it. I wore a Kinder jacket the day that you couldn't come. Yeah, in memory of you. Yeah. I have hot seats for Lawrence, but thank you. But He's Kinjas too. He is Kinjas. Hey. Lawrence, um, <laughs> how many how many films and TV shows that are like notable have you been in? Because like when people are like, oh, you know, there's an Asian guy on fucking Walking Dead. I'm like, yeah. He's my friend. And they're like, no, no, no. I'm talking about Glenn. Like, no, not I'm that like, guy. Not yeah, that. I know, I know, but I know the other guy who was the fucking governor's homie. That was the right hand man for the governor. And they're like, who is that guy? Hey, did they do did they do Glenn Dirty? Yeah, did they fuck him over? Did they do Glenn Dirty? Um, I didn't even continue watching, so I don't even know how they did Glenn. All I know is they killed him, right? That's yeah, doing dirty. He was supposed to die earlier. He shouldn't be die. He shouldn't die. No, but he was supposed to die earlier. They oh, kept them on well, longer. Right? He wasn't supposed to die you, you, that late. Do you guys feel like he was he was done dirty? I don't know. I didn't watch it either. Uh, did you ever it. did you ever look at Glenn on set and think to yourself like that should be me? Yep. No. My guy. <laughs> <laughs> going back, going back. I was besides, just starting, man, I was just happy to be there. I'm like, fuck, this is crazy. Besides The Walking Dead, what else have you done? Um, don't tell him about Honey Four. We gotta get that off. Are you on Honey Four? Holy oh, shit! shit. You're on Honey. Hell? You're in the next Honey movie. <laughs> what's 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 the your what's your favorite thing you've been in, and why is it the Bring Your Own Balloon party? <laughs> because Bring Your Own Balloon is fucking awesome. Um, Hang on, for for like all of us in the world who don't know what that is, can yeah. you maybe backfill that? What the fuck is that, dude? It's just my favorite sketch that he's written. So Lawrence says, uh, did something I pitched it to you guys, and you guys are like, wait, what the fuck is this, remember? <laughs> yeah, we, oh, yeah, I still <laughs> think what the fuck is it. So Lawrence did a Studio 64 comedy with Canales Come Later Today. Uh, they did YouTube comedy sketches oh, and stuff yes, like that. Yes, really yes. short uh, sketches, and then they shot this video called Bring Your Own Balloon. And it still doesn't make sense. I don't know how to explain it, but it, if you watch it, you'll understand things about Lawrence, and Perfect. you'll be like, I get it. Understood. Yeah. I had to take it down. What? Because I feel like... Racist? A little bit. 
But right. that's the best oh, kind of comedy. Oh, didn't age well? Yeah, it didn't age well. Mm. Oh, so like you coming in, about that. Like oh, coming, dude, I didn't yeah. age well. Look at me. Yeah. Wait, you look great. It's not. It's because of the way you're talking to the girl? No, it's not that. It's just like what we're wearing and stuff. The oh. froze? Yeah, I feel oh, like that. I feel like that, that just went in like. Come I, on. I mean, I think it's hilarious, but we were wearing afros. We were wearing afros in the video. Oh, but you guys are so racist. I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. Okay, here, hot seat up. What honest first impression of Joe? Fucking crazy. Come on, man. You're nuts. <laughs> You're nuts. So crazy. Uh, when was the first time? <laughs> no, we met in Australia. Yeah, Australia, Australia. What did I do that was so different in Australia? Australia. You're the same. You're the same now. Yeah, it's but what? No. Man. Come on, man. You're a wild man. It's not, it's not a negative thing. It's like, man, this guy is... He's on something. Yeah. He's on and something. And you're funny. Yeah. You're fucking funny. You see how high his voice is getting every time he says it? Yeah, it's hot. He's like, you're funny, you're funny, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're great. <laughs> oh, I have a question. Can I ask it? Yes. yes thank yes. you for raising your hand, though. <laughs> I forgot the fucking format. Uh, th there's yeah, a I there's a there's a YouTube uh, video that that Lawrence put up before where it's like, um, I'll I'll post part two when this video gets this many likes, and then it looks like it's almost there. <laughs> It's like been years. Would you make it part two if oh it reached God. that number? Um, <laughs> I want to say no because I don't want to make this thing. But if it gets there, you know what? What is for this you? thing? For you, I don't right even know what it is. is. Yeah. Backfill that too, please. Yeah. Sorry, go yeah. ahead, go ahead. He's mad around. He doesn't know the context. <laughs> Neither do I. I don't know. I was making these like, um, I, can't, I wouldn't even call them sketches. They're just like little small short film things. And then I, I told pe the audience like if I get to a specific the specific amount of views, I'd make another one. All right, let's fucking get it there. Yo. And you totally don't want to make it. But what one. year was yeah, that? Totally right, right. So we'll also but, get those <laughs> likes in there. But what year was that? Wasn't that like ages ago? Like 12? 11? Dude. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah, and, but the numbers are, get, it's almost there. You know what favorite skit from you? Is when you did Jeremy Lin fucking playing. Oh, dude, that's, that's legendary. He made and a viral of. Uh, wait, that was there. you? Yeah. And the, like the parabola, <laughs> the parabola. You're Derek Fisherman? Oh my dude, god, no, no, I no, can't no, believe no. that was you. That's him, yeah. Holy shit. So, so context for that one, uh, Jeremy Lin <laughs> was going crazy during that one time. Insanity. 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 Yeah. Insanity right? That's time of my life, bro. So, so he, he, <laughs> we all made this video uh, under Studio 64 Comedy called Superior Lintellect. So you would take highlight clips. <laughs> from Jeremy Lin and then he would like freeze frame it and he would like draw mathematic equations and use his uh quadratic formula yeah the quadratic formula I feel, like I feel when I look back on it right now I feel a little bit bad I'm like man this is like this is this mean no that was the best I'm like but then I'm like this is hilarious you're saying he's smart like, Jeremy Lin loved it smart. he's calculated it's a good video. it was so good it's great dude it was better than when they they when the New York Times put like chink in the armor and then put a picture of Jeremy Lin like that was way worse. Yeah, that's that's terrible. pretty oh, fucking insane. That. Terrible. That what you did was fucking hilarious. Okay, out of everything that you've learned and experienced <laughs> in in Hollywood, right? What is like one of the biggest lessons that you have for an aspiring actor out there? Mm. Biggest lesson. Um, it doesn't matter if it's depressing too. Make it depressing if you can. I mean, I, I guess it's just to like not take anything too seriously. Just to just to just to keep going. If this is what you want to do, if this just if this is your job, then you have to treat it like this is your job and not think of it as like something that's so like something that you can't reach. Because like like to try to become a doctor, you still have to like go through. You have to go. You have to go to like fucking medical school, and then you got to do all this shit that I don't feel I can do. But if you treat it like it's like this is your work, and you know the necessary steps to get to where you need to get to then it won't be as daunting because I feel like people just put it on such a high pedestal that they, they feel like, oh, it's so hard to fucking achieve. But if you think about it like, oh, it's just it's just a fucking normal job. That was really beautifully put. Can you do it again, but not wiggle the chair so much? <laughs> Dude, I, this chair is supposed to be like sturdy. Game of Thrones, baby. It's a lawn chair. <laughs> uh, no, that's great. That was so, a great answer. So as an, as an actor, like you, do you find um, if you're researching for something, do you ever have you ever put yourself into somebody else's shoes, like actually drop there to try to uh, like understand them more, or, or yeah, to, to method act? Or are you more like the type of I can just show up and I just like to hit my marks and nail the lines and the intentions? Uh, no, yeah, I, I feel like I have to try to understand. Like I feel like you have to get your headspace in the, you know, in, in the. <clears throat> 
in the right headspace of the character, for sure. Like, I can't just show up and be like, okay, I'm gonna say my lines, you know? Mm -hmm. There's not gonna be enough, like, depth or meaning into, like, the delivery or anything. You know, it's, like, all about building the subconscious of that kind of character and letting things come out whenever they come out. So it's not really necessarily memorizing the lines, but it's just, like, <clears throat> understanding the character and then just going on set when they call action. You already have the lines, and it's just, like, hopefully the things that come out will be stuff that you've worked on. Do you have a specific memory, like as a child, that makes you go like, oh yeah, I remember that, that's why I wanted to act? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I, I hate telling this story, but this is like, just like, it's like that typical, It was, I, I keep repeating this story a lot, but it's like when I was in high school, I got falsely accused of something, I was trying to be an actor at that time, and I was, I, I had to go, I was in jail for attempted murder, and then, um... Well, I don't know this story! I just, don't want, I just hate talking about it so much. What are you so talking much? about? It's so interesting! Why are you not giving me the juice, bro? I gotta hear about the fucking balloon video. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you should have brought up attempted murder That's from the jump. 10,000 people clicked the way before they got to this juice. <laughs> this is why we start really cold. Why do we do it to ourselves? <laughs> I just started acting in high school. And I was. it was the opening night of a play that I was supposed to do. And then I get falsely accused of attempted murder on the opening night of the show, and I get arrested. Did they think you were an Asian gang member? Yes. And you looked like someone else. They thought I. They thought I was someone else. But was then this they... murder mystery dinner. <laughs> no, no, it was not. Because then you have weapons on you, and you're like, oh no, 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 oh, these are mine. It's dinner theater. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I spent. I was in jail, and then. This is high school. This is in high school, and then Whoa. I was I was in there for over seventy two hours. Did Holy you shit! Seventy two hours. Head. Today's video is brought to you by Dipsy. Emails, laundry, groceries, the list goes on. There's a lot on your to do list, but what should be number one? The answer is you. This year, put yourself first with the help of Dipsy. Dipsy Stories is an app full of sexy audio stories. And now they even have brand new written stories. No matter who you're into or what turns you on, Dipsy helps bring stories to life. Anytime, anywhere. Close your eyes and let yourself get lost. In a world where only good things happen and where pleasure is your only priority. Explore your fantasies in a safe and shame-free way. Woohoo! There are hundreds of stories to choose from. And they release new content every week. So there's always more to explore. And they also have wellness sessions to help you wind down and explore. And sleep sessions to help you drift off. <laughs> For listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial. When you go to dipsystories.com slash off the record. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A-S-T-O-R-I-E-S dot -E -E com slash off the record. Dipsystories dot com slash off the record. I was, I was, I, I was okay at first because I thought, oh, they're going to release me. I'll be fine. Uh, but um, after talking to like an officer, he said, oh, you're, you've been in here for long enough. So I feel like they have enough evidence on you and I'm like how how long am I gonna be in here and they're like probably at least 40 years holy shit and at so that point at that age I was just like it wasn't at least it, I, I was still 17 so it was juvie oh, it wasn't any, it wasn't anything crazy but I turned 18 while I was while I was in jail Whoa. and um, you spent your birthday in jail yeah holy Wait, shit how, how long were you in juvie for <sighs> a week oh damn and so did, did your was, inmate friends give you a birthday yeah, what's birthday in jail like? Birthday was like, like birthday was uh, open the door, happy birthday, close the door. Oh, that's nice. That was pretty nice, actually. Yeah. I thought they would jump you. You have a schizo, like, like, uh, cellmate, though. Oh. Which was pretty insane because he was, like, talking to me. We had a good conversation, and all of a sudden, he was just like, who the fuck are you? Whoa. And then I was just Whoa. like, oh, shit. He forgot? He? he just didn't know who I was. Just be like, well, I'll tell, I'll talk to you. Or I guess I'll tell my story again. Yeah. <laughs> this is me. Damn. But anyways, I was in jail. And I really thought I was gonna stay there for like a long period of time. And I was freaking out. And then I was thinking about, fuck, what do I wanna do when I get out? And I was thinking like, I, I love acting. And I thought to myself that that's what I'm gonna do when I fucking get out of here. And luckily enough, I get released, um, you know, f five, six days later. And it was the closing night of the show. 
that I was supposed to be in. And your understudy's killing it at her. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck that understudy guy. <laughs> they replaced you? <laughs> that, no, guy's they name? Have... that guy's name, by the way, he's Glenn on The Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Fuck that guy. But then, yeah, when I was on stage and I was no. able to perform, I, it was that moment where I told myself, yeah, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life because I was just like, fuck. Holy I was shit. about to, like, not be able to do that. And so, why do you wow. hate that story? That's intense. Because I've been bro. telling it for so long. Yeah, but not here, yeah, goddammit. Our audience don't fucking know. That's a great story. I didn't even know. We knew your favorite office chair before yeah, we knew. <laughs> I like it better when you ended with. <laughs> we still don't really I like know. it better when you end by saying, and I sentenced myself to a life of acting. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's He's never said that, by the way. All I, know about, all I know about this fool is you don't like to wear underwear. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I heard that too. That's 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 you know? Yeah. Wait, are you wearing underwear right fucking now? Fucking wore underwear today. How, Damn, you're grown, fool! Do right. you wear underwear? Wait, how uh, falsely accused were you? <laughs> About the underwear thing? No, I was living with him. No, <laughs> I yeah. wear underwear, right? I, I actually don't a lot. See? I don't. I, I don't know, I like that. it, I like just, I like it to be just, uh, there's more air. There's less things on. I don't wear underwear when I wear shorts. It's like when you guys sleep, sometimes don't you guys just want to sleep like with nothing on? Yep. Joe, you're wearing shorts yeah, right now. Like, Wait, did they ever I don't catch, have underwear on. Did they ever catch the real guy? No. So what the fuck? Um, there was just not a, enough evidence. It wasn't. It wasn't just me. Wait, it was so probably me and other it? people. No, no, I didn't do it. <laughs> but there was a group. There was a, was a group of people that got caught up. Your high school friends too. Yes. Yeah, yes. Damn. But then there was like there. There were some people that were still in jail for like three months. Oh fuck. And they didn't do shit, and they had to like sell their homes. Oh to, my god. Money to like oh, bail the guy shit. out. It was bad. I actually got sued in college. I got served papers because I, I guess the people that um, that got severely messed up were like, yeah, you guys caused trauma in my life or like... What, you? Oh, like a civil yeah. suit? For like a home. civil suit later. Why Why you? Because he was accused Cause I was, too. Because I was part of the... I was, uh, well, how would they sue you if you didn't do shit? That's crazy. They, I, I guess they sued everybody. Case. America. Civil, yeah. Wow. Oh my Jesus. god. What a fucking mess, bro. And the police, like, that that handled the whole situation, they were just so fucked up, man. It's like, I, I was in a cell and um, some um, some kid needed a, to use a restroom and they wouldn't let him, so he had to pee on the floor and they made him take off his clothes and, like, wipe up his own piss. Whoa. I saw an officer just, like, choke somebody. It's pretty nuts. <laughs> God damn it. It's ruining the show. <laughs> like, just yeah, straight up choke some crazy. choke a kid. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It was pretty intense. Yeah, cops are pretty fucked up. Yep. Yeah, yeah. They're pretty fucked up. So, so fast forward, now that uh, you went through that trauma uh, traumatic experience, and then you're like, Traumatized. you ascended to your <laughs> acting career after that. You know what was crazy? So, so to do to do Wu Assassins, I had to get through the C Canadian border, right? Uh, oh, shit. And when I was going through the Canadian border, they said... Oh, what is this thing on your record? We're not letting you in. Yeah. You can't. You can't do this. You can't work. You had a record? Oh, because you're 18. It it hold it, between it was, U.S. and Canada. It holds they, a long they time. Didn't, they didn't expunge it. So then I was As a juvenile. I was shitting my pants because I was like, man, the, the thing that that made me want to do this in the first place was now preventing me Whoa. from like like doing what I would love to do. And then I was like, fuck. You had to tell that whole story at the border. Is that why you don't like? <laughs> Maybe. You told so many times to yeah. all the Canadian officials. Like, like, did, you say, did you start with, it's not what it looks like? Don't worry, I was accused of attempted murder. <laughs> it wasn't me you know, though, hey, I, but I, I've been acquitted of all charges. <laughs> oh my I, god. I, I, I'm acquitted of, of our, all charges. They said they were gonna call, they, they were gonna call uh, a court in LA, and if, the, if no one picked up and explained what was going on, they wouldn't let me through the border. Holy shit. And so I was just chilling there, shit in my pants, thinking like, well, Fuck. guess I'm not gonna fucking work anymore. Did they make you wipe the shit with your own clothes? <laughs> yeah, and this is us in Australia. So then they called and then think. What if that's why we, we sort of got stopped too in Australia? If that's why no, and was... you put me through that, I'm gonna sue you, dude. <laughs> we already determined it was Victor's fault. Wait, but so, so they, yeah, so, the, so somebody called, picked up? And then what happened? They called, someone picked up, and then, uh, Fucking luckily, and uh, they're like, it's expunged. Yeah, it's expunged, and yeah. so I had. To, so now I have to carry, carry this piece of paper. I went back to the courts to get like to get it all taken care yeah. of, so that when I, wherever I'm traveling, I need like this piece of paper with me to, to, to show that it's it's been expunged. Yeah, I had to go to the. 
to the court to it's like a bait do you, do you go downtown LA yeah or it's at the basement right and then you have to ask the desk wait don't fucking gloss why the fuck do you have to go to court oh I had some <laughs> I had some I have juvenile records <laughs> what do you do what do you do oh uh, just nothing like just like uh, murder, no, like like graffiti and like theft and like so stuff art, like, that. like yeah, like art. graffiti art, yeah, and theft, <laughs> and, yeah. And, like, but we have we have a lot of actors come onto the show, and we always want to get to like the nitty gritty and really ask like the serious questions that really define people's characters. So like, um, if you were like cast in a movie and then you were cast with a, a, a co-star uh, that you could just have a beautiful, beautiful sex scene with, who would it be? Who would you fuck the shit out of, dude? <gasps> Who would you fucking I'm get flesh-colored underwear over your pants and just grind on? It's okay. Everybody, everybody, it's just flattery. You know, whoever you say. Unless it's awkward and you've already worked with them. And I'd say like 90% of all act, 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 actors right now. <laughs> what are you like? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you would fuck. You would pick 90%? You would... Yeah. That's He's saying everyone's hot except for Britney Spears apparently. This <laughs> fucking guy, I swear to God. She's gross. <laughs> Britney Spears it is! <laughs> we can have her. Then we'll yeah. never fight against the same, same. Oh, ladies. Wow. Well, really? That's your answer? I'm dating, sorry. Like, I, don't, I don't know, I'm just trying to think like... You don't have a celebrity crush in the acting Who game? makes you horny? No one makes you horny? I don't have a celebrity crush. Not... I, 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 I've had celebrity crushes when I was younger. Okay, tell me that. Shannon Sossaman. Oh yeah, she's great. Jeez. Who's that? Mm -hmm. Who's that? The she's short haired like... Days and 40 Nights girl. Oh. Oh nice yeah. Tail. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we've reached the we've reached the 20 minute and 12 second part of the show. This is the part of the show where we like to turn up the heat. So, can, can I ask, do you have any regrets? Regrets. Rag rats. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I do. I think I have. Imagine he's just I like regret. killing that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I killed, I killed a man. <laughs> I killed a person. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Editor, don't cut that out. <laughs> don't leave it in. <laughs> Any regrets? I think, yeah. I think I regret, like, no. I got away with murder? That would be so shocking. <laughs> then they use this video and fucking put it back in. <laughs> Imagine. No, I don't want to. No. Yeah. Falsely accused twice because of JK News. <laughs> yeah, they reopened the yeah, case. Yeah, yeah. They're like, well, there was that JK video. <laughs> it was on a legitimate news source. <sighs> Let's take another look. Joe, Joe's the witness they bring in. He's like, yeah, I mean, he, he did said it. it. <laughs> yeah. He was on the hot seat. <laughs> Man, I'll always lie for you, Lawrence. Nobody Thanks, lies on the hot seat. lie, he didn't do it. He didn't kill anybody, y'all. <laughs> Lawrence did not commit any crimes. Okay. Back to the regret. Um, I think I think I would go back and like try to enjoy um, like all the America's Best Dance Crew stuff that happened afterwards. I think I, I always talk about this. Like I don't think I was really present in that moment in time. I was just trying to like not dance anymore wow. at that time. And I feel like if I could go back in time, just to enjoy all the travels and be like, yeah, this is fucking dope. This is great. Wait, you were you were on ABDC? He was on Cabo Modern season one. Oh, what? Oh, sure. mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And they fucking, they, like, that was, that was what, 2008? 2008, right? 2008, yeah. So how did you not enjoy it, though? They actually got beat by Jabberwockies. You just trying to act more? I was trying to act more, and then I, and then I just graduated college, and then, um, I, you know, I wanted to immediately start to, like, you know, like, auditioning for things and just start my career, but then dance was just the only thing that was paying me a lot of money, and then so we, we would just travel all the time, and I felt like it was taking away from... What I what I just really wanted to. Oh, do. I remember you you what? said that too back then, and I was wow. like, "What? But you guys are doing everything." I know that's <laughs> crazy. And then just like doing like uh, meet meet and greets and wow. stuff, I was like, "Oh." But it but if I could go back in time, I would just try to be present and enjoy, you know that. But if you were killing at acting, you'd be at meet and greets still, fucking traveling and doing stuff. You know, should have thought about but that. But not what he's wanted. It's like getting a blowjob when you wanted to get your dick ridden. <laughs> That's exactly oh. what it's like. Nah. Exactly. Blow well, job's always right up there. <laughs> it's cool. pretty nice, but still, like, but when you want it, though. Way better than getting your dick you ridden. want it. But yeah, I think it's just like. What your heart desires is what your heart desires. Mm -hmm. It's not what The you cool want thing is, is I remember when, when you guys are traveling a ton and, like, they, they pretty much, like, paved the way for, like, the crews after to do the same types of tours because we really just did the same places they did. 
because after they toured, all of those venues and those companies believed that, oh, dance crews are a good thing to hire for these things now. So and it was like a proven model. They yeah. really did pave like the way for that shit. And I remember talking to you when I was in Costa Mesa living there and you were like, man, I'm trying to do more acting and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I would love to oh, do what you're fuck. doing. Bro. I know, like I hate myself. Like I want to punch myself in the face. Cause like, I was just like, Hey, but Australia was fun though. And if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have all met. Australia was fucking fun. Right? Yeah, Australia. That was really cool. Tick Tick Tour 2. There it is again. We should do a Tick Tick Tour without Poriotic. <laughs> <laughs> he points, points to the fuck. Because Tan's in there. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Have him come and record us. <laughs> oh my god. Look out the fucking path. Oh, can record you guys, but then he can do his hand things in front of the camera like that. <laughs> That's really good. Steve. I know, right? I watch him. I watch him. <laughs>